Hello and welcome to this very quick video. Just to let you know, it looks like there's some new flight controller stuff from Holy Bro. Now, I like Holy Bro flight controllers anyway. Things like the Qtain stuff get used in other things. However, when I don't want to spend the money to get something like a real Pixhawk Cube Orange, then the Holy Bro Pixhawk compatible flight controllers based on all the latest specs are the ones that I tend to go for. They tend to be pretty high quality and they're much better than the clone stuff that you get in lots of other places. Places. Now, this is the latest one. This is the Pixhawk 6C flight controller module. Uh, the particular one I have here comes with a PMO2 12S power module. Uh, there's also a PMO7 12S power module as well, a cable set and an M8N GPS. Now, the interesting thing about the Pixhawk 6C is that, again, it's based on a H7 processor with a 480 megahertz clock. It's a new low profile form factor. So it's a little bit different from some of the others that I really like. I'm a big fan of things like the Durandal and also things like the 5X that I've had in here before that work very well. It has the same redundant inertial measurement units. Uh, it's using stuff from Bosch and EventSense, so decent quality stuff. And it has integrated vibration isolation to fil filter out high frequency vibration inside, just like some of the more expensive stuff does as well. IMUs are, again, temperature controlled with onboard heater resistors. And that means that whenever you're playing with these things, it always makes sense to let it warm up for a minute or two before you do your calibrations. And this one ships with a version of PX4 installed, because at the moment as I'm recording this, the Pixhawk 6C has support in the PX4 Master. You're going to have to use the latest and greatest daily builds uh, for QGC, and just like when I had the Durandal in, uh, it's come out a little bit before the code is available in there, so you're going to need RD Pilot 4.2.3 for this to work, but hopefully that should be out soon. I do like the fact that this is an all-in-one unit. I like these things that don't have lots of extra uh, boards and auxiliary things that go on, but the PWM connections on this are the thing that's really unusual. They're externally connected by two cables that go into the two connectors at the bottom, and that allows for the main flight controller itself to be pretty low profile and quite compact. It's an aluminium case on this, which makes it feel very uh, quality. But the nice thing is, is that that does mean that you could run those additional PWM outputs to different parts of the model to help with orientation. GPS on this is a CAN bus GPS and there is a little CAN bus hub in the cable kit too. You'll see a lot more CAN bus stuff coming on the channel in the next month or two as I actually do my first VTOL build. Also released is a new mini base designed for the separate FMU. So this is designed to fit 5X or the 6X FC module and that will fit on here but this is a much smaller platform for it to sit on. Again made of aluminium and again has the same external PWM outputs, uh, the separate pods that you plug into the bottom. Finally, for those of you that like to tinker, there's a new Pixhawk debug tool. Now this is really for advanced users. I'm probably never going to use this, but if you want to plug it into the debug port, that thing at the side that you always wonder what it was for, it does allow you to do things like add a new bootloader or firmware to a completely empty board and potentially with extra bits of hardware, debug the code and the controller on it. Now, I'll put links down below to all this stuff, but just want to flag this to you if you are Pixhawk pilots and you're looking for something that is still good quality, but a lot cheaper than things like the Pixhawk Cube, then this is the stuff that I'm getting in to try. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.